12 things you still didn't know you can do in Red Dead Online. Hello everyone, I am Zumi Fiasco. Right now there are so many players jumping back online to prepare for the big update coming out Tuesday. Because of that, I figured why not show off some things you can do in the game that you didn't know about, like hilarious fighting animations and more. The last one on this list is actually ridiculous, so stay tuned to see it. And ladies and gentlemen, I've decided I'm bringing back Gold Bar giveaways. And just to keep things going on the hype train, I will be doing a huge first time ever 350 Gold Bar giveaway. That is a $100 value. One lucky viewer is going to win this, so make sure you participate. All you need to do to enter in the giveaway is subscribe like this video and leave the comments fiasco family legend in the comments below for more details on the giveaway just check the description and now let's get started all right the first one on our list is the hidden nut kick fighting animation <laughs> yeah you heard that right turns out you can kick friends other players or even NPCs in the nuts funny enough you do more damage than a typical punch too which just adds to how funny this is in order to do this you simply have to hunt down a medium-sized animal that you can carry over your shoulder like a fox rabbit or raccoon Raccoon. Once you have one, just walk up to anyone and start tapping the melee button. I highly recommend doing this to your friends first to avoid coming off as a troll towards other players that don't have any idea what you're doing. For number two on the list, we got a little bit of an overpowered fighting trick that people don't know is literally unblockable. You know how you can fight back against players trying to beat you down with their guns or melee weapons by just spamming the melee button in return or blocking? Well, with this weapon, you cannot defend yourself, and if you use it, no one can defend against you. Can you guess what it is? It's the bow. That's right. For whatever reason, if you get into an up-close and personal fight, the bow execution cannot be blocked. If you want, you can use this as a strat to take players out with ease. Just close the distance between you and your target, run up, shove them down, and then execute them when they get back on their feet. Simple as that. If you see some random player running at you with a bow, just take them out before they get too close because obviously, they're probably trying to do the same thing to you. Number three is a pretty chilled out trick compared to the first two on the list, but even I didn't know this until about a week ago. Brought to my attention by Bloodlust180 over on Twitter, she has shown me a way to instantly remove hair pomade. Now, instead of waiting the ridiculous amount of time it takes to wear it off naturally, you can get rid of it and get that untamed hairstyle anytime you want. To do this trick, simply go to any barber across the map, purchase the bald hairstyle, and then reselect the hair you had before or a new hairstyle if you find one you like more. You'll notice that the hair pomade has been removed and you can carry on doing whatever you were doing before you wanted to get rid of that styling grease. Pretty cool, right? Fair warning though, using this trick requires you to purchase whatever hair you want to change to without pomade, so it isn't a free way, unfortunately, but definitely a trick that will come in handy for those of you that want to change between a clean and untamed look on the daily. Throwing up a disclaimer for number four right away, this one is a bit of a troll move and uh, we're almost halfway through the video and these things are only going to get better, so make sure to watch until the very end. Number four, the infinite hogtie trap. Now, this can be avoided by victims if they give up when they're hogtied by you, but if they refuse to go out like that and they want to struggle towards escaping, then they are in for a bad time. When players try to escape your reinforced lasso hogtie while you are carrying them, every time they get close to breaking free, you will get a prompt to hit them in the lower right corner of your screen. If you do choose to hit them, it will reset their progress to the halfway mark on the break free meter every single time you hit them. <laughs> this means you can literally just elbow them in the face until they give up or you decide to give in and let them go. I highly, highly suggest doing this with friends only instead of random players because it's a lot more funny with friends and it's a lot less toxic when it's someone you know versus someone that has no idea who you are. Chances are randoms will just give up before you even get to hit them so there isn't much point in trying it on them. Anyway, have fun knocking your friend's teeth out. <laughs> Number five is a odd hidden action you can perform with a single rare interactable. If you don't know what I mean by that, chances are you've never seen this. Located at the farm near Matic Pond, just north of Rhodes, there is a wood chopping block behind the red siding house you can interact with and chop some wood. You can't do anything beyond that, but it's an interesting thing almost no one knows about. You can get some cool screenshots, role play some chores around the farm, or show it off to your friends. Give me a shout out though, all right? <laughs> Either way, this wood chopping block is interesting and it's strange as to why it's even there. Maybe it carried over from story mode and Rockstar just missed it. Maybe it's on a potential future player property and that will be one of the numerous chores you can do. But aside from speculation, no real reason is known as to why it's there. But hey, now you know about it. Here we are, the halfway mark. I told you these things would keep getting better. But before number six, hit that subscribe button and if you've already subbed up, 
Tell me when you did so I can know how OG you are and I'll heart your comment. All right, number six is hilarious. Check this out. Dynamite used on posse members prevents their fall damage from any height. That's right, from the Bard's Crossing Bridge Cliffs to Mount Hagen, no matter how high up you get, if you launch a posse member with dynamite or a dynamite arrow, as long as they don't clip something or roll on the ground on their way down, they will not take fall damage. This one is a must do for a good laugh in Red Dead Online. My friend Redez and I have way too much fun doing this. We went to the highest points we could find aside from Mount Hagen, of course, because it's kind of a pain to get up there, but we launch each other from stupid heights that you would most definitely die otherwise, and we lived every single time. So again, try this out with your friends. I promise you'll enjoy it. Number seven is gruesome, but badass in a messed up way. You're about to see what I mean. Here it is. The seventh thing you didn't know you can still do in Red Dead Online, drown NPCs. I know, I know. It's dark, but listen, before you call me a psycho, hear me out. Whenever I played Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode, I have a memory playing as Arthur that I will never forget. I started a fight with a dude over some gold near the water, and Arthur just took it upon himself to trip the guy down and drown him for the finishing move, and I will never forget it because it was such a badass power move. Ever since then, I've always wondered if you could do it online, but I never got around to actually testing it, and there's never been a time that I've fought in the water. That all changed though because this last week, I made an effort to test it, and to my surprise, it worked. Check this out. Insane, right? Now all you have to do to do this is tackle an NPC down in some water that goes to about your knees. Then from there, just press your movement direction forwards and your character will proceed to shove the NPC's head underwater, drowning them. Pretty gruesome, but also awesome. Hogtie an NPC, take them near some water and try it out for yourself. And don't forget to show your friends because I'm sure they're going to be just as shocked as you were witnessing it in this video. Number eight takes a sharp left turn into a hunting trick, which is kind of weird, but whatever. You know the hunting wagon? Well, for some reason you can store unlimited alligator skins in it. Yeah, I know, weird right? Just request it in, grab a trusty rifle, head out to the bayou and go crazy on some gators. I feel like this is just an unintentional bug Rockstar hasn't patched yet, so if you're watching right now and it doesn't seem to be working, they probably heard it through the grapevine and patched it up. During the process of making this video, it still works, so yeah, try it out. I mean, just look at the amount of alligator skins I have in this thing. It's ridiculous. That was a pretty quick one. I don't really have much else to go on that though, just the fact that you can store unlimited alligator skins in your hunting wagon. Number nine is a really cool blocked off area that can be broken into, searched, and explored in San Denis. Does the name Bronte sound familiar to you? Well, if you played the Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode, you'll probably remember a few missions where you entered his mansion in San Denis. In Red Dead Online, the same mansion is there, but the front and back doors are locked up and all the windows are blocked off by weird doors. Rocks are just awkwardly placed in there to seemingly keep all of us players out of it. For whatever reason though, they didn't feel the need to mess with the second floor or the balcony. And because of this, if you get your hands on a specific stagecoach that spawns in San Denis, you can just back it up the front porch and parkour your way onto the second floor balcony and break into the mansion. Now, I want to stress it again that you make absolutely sure you get the right stagecoach or you're just going to get frustrated. You'll know that you found the right one when you can jump on both sides of it to get on top or you can jump on it from the back. Other wagons won't let you climb them and you'll just kind of hang off the side. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Explore it till you get bored, use it to role play, host events, or whatever you like. Number 10, the first of the final three things on the list and the 10th thing that you still didn't know you can do in Red Dead Online. When wanted, you can break the NPC lawmen by hiding in a bush. That might sound a little weird, admittedly, but listen, this is so funny and you have got to try this out next time you are wanted. The lawmen are just stupid in this game sometimes. As shown in a few clips here, you can literally be a couple of feet away from one and they still won't see you when they are searching for you when you're hiding in a bush. Lawmen will ride their horses or walk right past you and sometimes will even look at the bush you are hiding in and still keep going. I actually got a clip where I was able to kill like three lawmen with a throwing knife from a bush in a crowd out of them and they didn't even do anything. They didn't return fire, they didn't shoot back, just nothing. Number 11 is a very simple one, yet overlooked by more than half of the player base, and that is the fact that you can loot NPC horse saddlebags. If you ever come up on a random horse that is not manned by any NPC, you can just go ahead and loot it. You'll get tonics, you'll get cash, and sometimes you'll even get jewelry. But be careful because these horses sometimes 
will kick back with a vengeance. These kicks are no joke. Just to give you a little bit of perspective on just how strong these kicks are, I'm over rank 100 with max health and two of these kicks will kill me outright. Not exaggerating. Anyways, just remain aware that you can get kicked and watch your health because you can potentially get killed, but NPC saddlebags are in fact lootable. No way, you're still here? All right, you legends, you have made it to the last thing on this list, number 12. Big ups for staying tuned in this long, I saved this one for last, so that those of you sticking it out this long get to see an awesome loadout trick that will allow you to one-shot players in the chest with any rifle. Number 12 is the one chest shot kill build. Before going into this build, just know that it will leave you a little defenseless because the build is aimed at max damage output and players can counter you if they use tonics and stack up on defensive cards but for the most part I'd say eight times out of ten you are going to get that one shot chest shot kill on players when you run this loadout the ability cards you need are one focus fire two Landon's patience three sharpshooter and four peak condition then with your scoped rifle run some express rounds and there you go by reading into the details of the loadout you'll see why it's so powerful and don't forget to get this to work efficiently you'll need to upgrade those ability cards but yeah there you have it the one chest shot kill build all right everyone that is it for the video welcome back all you veteran players that are getting back on red dead online and all of you new players or just returning players whatever you are playing red dead online i hope this video proved of some use in learning something new something funny or cool to show off to your friends that you didn't already know about in red dead online don't forget about the go bar giveaway leave a like rating down below for support and also don't forget to subscribe for future red dead online content i hope to see you all in the next one later